Hello everyone. In the next two weeks, you are going to make your digital story. And uh, for the first week, you don't need to create a digital story yet. You only need to create a storyboard of the story. So it, this is this week is kind of the, the planning stage uh, of the video that you are going to be, make in the following week. Okay, and and so um, I have an introduction video here uh, from YouTube that I would like you to watch, and um, and and we talk about the effectiveness, uh, if efficiency, and engagement. Some of the questions that you should be asking yourself while you are making your your video or you know any other projects for this class. And I have given you two sets of uh, uh, examples that you, you can look at. The first set of examples relates to uh, digital stories that are created by former students of this class. And I also have some examples from uh, by other teachers and students, you know, K-12 students. And, and you, so you can look at that uh, in these two links. And so uh, you need to create your storyboard for this first week. Uh, the so I introduced the storyboard here and I have given you some templates that you can follow and you can make changes to those templates and you can also edit the pictures that you found on the internet. Um, and then when you are done, what you need to do is to uh, put that storyboard into your website. And I have uh, I've provided three ways for you uh, to, to put that storyboard into your web page. Uh, you can uh, take a use a scanner, you know, scan your uh, storyboard, and and then you know put that scan image into your your web page, or you can use a digital camera, or if you have used uh, use the Google Doc, you can just embed it directly into your website. And so for your assignments, what you need to do is to create this storyboard, okay, um, and and you should uh, use the Utah standards as your guideline. Uh, to create this, uh, the, the, to, to, to create your digital story. Again, you don't need to create a digital story yet. You only need to create a storyboard that you will use next week uh, to create that digital story, uh, which will be a video. Okay, and um, now uh, you should follow the the storyboard uh, the layout, which has. Um, when you look at the templates, you, you know, okay, on one side, you should show the pictures of uh, what you are going, to, what people are going to see, and then on the other side, you should uh, give a description of what uh, people are going to see and hear, okay, mainly focus on, on what people are going to hear. Um, and you can, uh, you know, I have some resources here that you can actually go there and look at the materials to see what, what you can use, you know, from there in preparation for your uh, digital uh, story, okay? And um, now, last week, you have already created a digital story page, which is blank, um, a, a blank web page. Uh, what you need to do now is to go back to that page, modify it, and then in the beginning of the page, you just give me a little a bit description of what your project is going to do. Again, in the beginning of this semester, we talk about your website being an electronic portfolio for other people to look at um, uh, uh, the, your your web page to, to learn more about you as a, a teacher and so this is a chance for them to read a little description so that they, they can come in and, and know you know why you put a couple of videos over there okay a video and and a, and a storyboard okay and after that then you just uh, go ahead and embed your storyboard uh, to this web page and um, the assignment is due on Tuesday and uh, when you're done just send me an email okay uh, with, with the link to your page extra credits okay this is very exciting when you go to this website you'll find that there's actually a contest for digital stories and the, uh, the digital stories that have won awards before they are not very complicated and when you look at them you will say that oh you know I can make this too and so and I believe you can um, and so I encourage you oh, to uh, go, go ahead and, and, and look at some of these things that uh, they have done and uh, also look at the rules that they have um, the, for this contest and, and when you're completely done with your uh, digital story I encourage you to go ahead and submit them to this contest to see if you can get an award if you can get an award 
you not only get the recognition from the contest, get some prize money, and even maybe you, you can win an uh, uh, iPad Mini too. Uh, but I will also give you uh, 30 uh, extra credit points and and so with that points you really basically have one assignment waived and so it's a good deal I encourage you to do it um, if you do uh, submit it and win an award be sure to let me know I, I'll be very excited for you okay